Hey, what up? It's Lex. It is early 7.30 a.m. on Thursday, April 19th, 2018. I've been away and I am back in New York City and I wanted to do a little recap of some trading this week. Um, today was actually, actually this week's been pretty good in trading just because there's been a lot of plays, a lot of action. Um, the markets are starting to rally back up on easing tensions um, for the trade wars. And I was fortunately to um, able to find a couple of good plays. Um, I'm going to go over three three trades that I did on Monday and Tuesday, which were CNAB, CNAB, uh, HMNY, and the big supernova VTVT, which had a huge spike um, on Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, all three trades, I was able to come up with profits of a little shy of $400. And I want to go over those three trades right now with you guys. You can see what I did. And uh, once again, this is for educational purposes and not for financial advice. So let's start right away with CNAB. CNAB was a marijuana play. And I, I bought this ticker on Friday, spiking into the close. So I bought into the close. Um, I like buying for overnight plays. They haven't really been working on a ton lately, but in the past two weeks, the rally's been coming back. And there's actually been a lot of overnight plays where you can hold overnight and sell into the morning spike. And that's exactly what I did with CNAB. Um, I bought um, the 30 minute opening range breakout in the afternoon at 105 and I it was closing on the high of the day. This is an OTC stock, so they don't really trade in after hours. So usually when it closes near the high of the day, it's going to be a gap up. Secondly, um, marijuana stocks are starting to rally again, um, not just because it's 420 tomorrow, but because of there's a lot of... Um, good news coming out with bullish signs. Um, on Friday, former Speaker of the House John Boehner was on CNBC Live talking about marijuana and how he's joining the board of a marijuana company and how he's okay with marijuana nowadays because it's used for medical purposes, which is total BS because all these haters on marijuana stocks were so so blatantly like against it two, three years ago. But now that they're seeing the huge profits and the billion dollar revenue uh, generating industry that it, that it has um, manifested, people are starting to get on board on these pot stocks and saying, "Oh, it's okay," and you know, it's not bad for you. It's not a gateway drug. It's it's so ridiculous. But whatever, I'm playing the price action. So that was a huge catalyst on Friday. But also, um, June 8th, Canada across the board is going to be legalizing marijuana. Massachusetts a few weeks ago had um, vendor registration for you to actually open up business and start selling marijuana and marijuana. Uh, related products. So the marijuana sector as a whole is picking up and their tickers are starting to rally. So that's why I bought CNAB. It was spiking. Um, it was rallying up to the day I bought it here. It's been th three uh, big green candles and on Friday um, we get the spike and then the gap up. So I sold right away in the morning at 9.30 a.m. Um, just, to, just to grab profits right away. I just, it was only 65 bucks, whatever. I mean, the trade took like two seconds, made 65, and then I jumped right on to HMNY um, in the afternoon. Let's take a look at ticker HMNY. And the HMNY news was pretty big. Um, they reported that Verizon Wireless, or Verizon in general, had a 10% um, stake in the company, which was huge news because Verizon's a, you know, a large cap company. And I uh, saw the news, saw the price action, and um, let's take a look at the daily chart here. And I bought um, at 2.40 in the afternoon, 2.44 in the afternoon when it broke out. Um, let's see, this is today, Thursday, Wednesday, 16th was the, yeah, Monday. So um, I bought on uh, 2.44, it, when it broke, let's see, 244 right here. When it broke this um, resistance line at 348, my initial uh, buy was at, oh, I'm sorry, 11.03 a.m., 346. Oh yeah, that's right. I bought um, a little when it broke the 30 minute opening range. And then it consolidated in the afternoon, but there was a ton of volume. The news was just getting out. It had a little dip. Um, here in the afternoon, but then it just took off and I sold my first um, buy at 3.40 in the afternoon, 2.44 in the afternoon. Um, I had only a conservative position of 300 shares 
it was a 10% gain, $112. And I took the short gain just because lately the stocks, um, I've realized, haven't been spiking more than like 40%, and it was already up about 10%. So I don't. I took the meter move, grabbed 10%, and then I actually rebought it um, on the dip, uh, literally 10, 15 minutes after another 300 shares at 258, and I sold um, 10 minutes later um, at 405, and I made another 87 dollars. 7.4% profit. So that was like about a $220 trade. Um, and it, it spiked more and then came down to pre-market and then it kind of crashed in the morning. There's a huge sell-off from profit takers. And then it spiked again on Tuesday, all the way up to 4.05. Um, and then came crashing down again. So it was a little choppy. The news was good and the price action was good. And that's why I played it. Um, so that was on... Um, Monday into Tuesday, and then the last trade, the biggest trade, was VTVT. Now, this thing went ballistic, and I actually got an awesome entry on this. I just didn't let my winners ride just because I've been so used to the market being crappy lately that I didn't think it would go more than maybe 30 40%. So I, I took my 14%, $140 off the bat. I got a great entry on the breakout here. Dollar breakout, huge, huge psychological level. It was like a magnet to, to, to one. It just kept on pulling up. There was no news. This was just a pure technical breakout. If you look at the monthly chart, um, they had a phase three that they stopped working on. That's what made it drop um, uh, a little over a week ago from the middle threes all the way down to 70s, under a dollar. Um, and this was a fairly low float, and there was no, sh um, there was a ton of shorts on it because of this um, stopping of the phase three. But when it came out on Tuesday and started rallying back, it was a squeeze. So that was the catalyst. There was no news, there was no filings, there was no contracts or any upgrades. Nothing. It was just a, a pure technical breakout squeeze. And um, I got in at the psychological dollar level. Thinking once it broke the dollar, you know, if I can grab 10, 15 cents with a thousand shares, you know, every tick is 10 bucks. And that's exactly what I did. Um, I bought the breakout at a dollar right here. Well, actually, I think I got it in a dollar one. And it spiked once it broke 105, it spiked up. I sold so early here at 114. I only grabbed 14 cents, which was $140. And the things just ripped ripped it got squeezed so hard shorts got totally messed up they were in the chat room talking smack saying this is going to go down and they totally got squeezed and margin calls spiked to a high that day of 167 and then ripped right back down to pretty much where i sold it around 116. so i was kind of like okay that was kind of weird i'll watch that the next day took profits the next day right at opening bell this thing went from a dollar 22 and went up 100 percent all the way up to actually 150 percent went up to two dollars and 68 cents you're talking like 120 percent gain completely missed it um just because i was actually um yesterday i was actually doing some 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 other stuff in the city so i really wasn't trading yesterday i did watch it on my phone i was just like man if i just held i would have almost tripled my money um, but that's, you know, that's the name of the game. You can't win them all. I still got the meat of the move overall. Um, I think this is going to come down now just because there's no news and, um, most people that took profits cause it bounced almost, you know, 200% from when the initial, um, spike happened on uh, Tuesday. So I think shorts going to be all over it. As you can see, the short percentage over here on new trade is 17%. So there's, there's a lot of shorts coming back in. Um, but you know, tomorrow is Friday, so we're going to see how the price action is, see how the markets are today. This could squeeze. If not, I'm going to be looking for shares to short, short this, short this back down because there literally is no news. It's just a technical breakout. So overall, um, you know, we had profits. Um, I think it was like a little under four hundred dollars. Let's just go sixty-five from CNAB, um, one twelve first trade from HMNY plus another one eighty-seven. And then VTVT, I made a buck twenty-five. So yeah, three hundred eighty-nine dollars after commissions dropped about forty. So not too not too bad, you know, three hundred fifty bucks for uh, just you know three trades. I'm uh, going to be trading all day today, Thursday, and tomorrow Friday. I'm just going to be trading, watching the market. So I should have some more videos up for you um, before the weekend.
So go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more videos. I have live day trade videos, I have technical videos, I have um, videos on crypto as well as futures. So make sure you sign up and leave a comment if you like this video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.